Hi, this is Dan again from Clean Guru. You know, in recent episodes, we've talked about our selling strategy, aim to be next. And we've talked about the importance of getting yourself in the position as a trusted friend, a trusted advisor in the cleaning business to your prospects. But we talked about how that can take some time because they have to get the time to know and to like and to trust you, to get to earn that kind of a position in their mind. And we talked about that today we discuss are there steps or things that you can do to shorten the time that that could take to achieve that position. Well, there are. Let's talk about it in two, in two ways. First of all, on the marketing side, so before you get the bid. Well, the entire marketing program should be laid out in a way to create ongoing regular touches. In the marketing circles, it's called touches. You're touching your prospect. You're communicating with your customer. So if every five, six, or seven weeks, you're sending something to your prospects, so you're touching them, you're reaching out to them, they're getting to know you on a regular basis. That should be the layout or structure of your marketing program, because that's perfect. In fact, that's automatic. That can go on automatically. Well, what about the once they call you? So let's say your marketing worked, and here you are, they've called you, and they've asked you to come out and bid. Are there things that you can still do steps that you can take to shorten the time of positioning yourself as a trusted friend and advisor in their minds. Well, yes, there are, by creating more touches, more steps, more communication. Well, like what? Well, first of all, of course, it starts with your walkthrough. There's your first chance, your first opportunity. But you know what? Let's say that um, you make it a practice sometimes to go out to do another set of measurements or you call the customer and you say, is it okay if I stop by? I just had one or two questions and I wanted to remeasure a certain part of the building. Well, now you've created another opportunity to talk with them. Now you deliver the bid and now you're sitting down to talk with them about the proposal. Well, let's say about a few days later, you just stop by to see if they have any questions about the proposal. Well, that's another touch. Let's say that you stop by a few days later or a week later and you drop off uh, an insurance certificate or some, some article in the industry that you wanted to drop off to them that they, you thought they might enjoy. Well, that's another touch, another communication. Let's say that you have a brochure on a piece of equipment that you're going to be used when you clean there, let's say a back vac, something like that. Well, you might stop by and say, you know what, here's an article in an envelope. It's about a piece of equipment you use, we use if we were to clean it, just thought you'd find it interesting. Well, that's another touch. That's another communication. These are all ways that add up for them to get to know you and to like you and to trust you because they're interacting with you. So it can happen on the marketing side before the sale, but can also happen during the selling process once they've called. There's steps that you can create that way too to get more involvement to shorten the time for that to happen. Okay, that's it for today. Next time, I want to talk about some things that you might want to change if you catch yourself doing it. So for example, we've talked about the positive things. Here's the things to do to be successful in selling. Here, we, let's, next time, let's talk about two or three or four things that you can maybe try to avoid doing, or if you see yourself doing it, try to reduce the, the amount of times you do it or to avoid it altogether. We'll discuss it next time. Until then, remember, you can do this. You really can.